The Dark Tower is directed by Nikolai Arso and stars Tom Taylor as Jake Chambers, an 11 year old boy who wants to explore the ward. He wants to explore the war, the mid ward, and he wants to find out what's going on because he has these dreams of this man in black portrayed by Matthew McConaughey um, from having the tower fall over. And, um, he also has visions of the gunslinger being a man able to stop him. Now, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I was like, okay, this looks like a good movie. I think this is going to be a really great movie. And leaving it... I really fucking enjoy it. I find this movie to be very, very incredible. And I'm going to tell you guys who I really enjoyed about it right now. Okay, so first of all, Matthew McConaughey was a great villain. I love the way his villain was portrayed in this movie. I thought he did a freaking fucking fantastic job as the villain. He was incredible. He was scary. He was menacing. He was everything I want out of a villain. I mean, Matthew McConaughey is such a great actor. He's improved a lot as an actor. I, I've always liked him, but he's improved a lot as an actor. His films like Interstellar, it was incredible. He, uh, it was an incredible actor. De almost Days and Confused, I have not seen yet. I picked that up today. I really want to see it. That was the first movie he said, uh, right, uh, right, uh, right. And I really do like Matthew McConaughey, and I did like him as the Man in Black, so I'm so happy he finally played a villain in his career. I hope he plays more villains. I hope they offer him more villain roles. Matthew McConaughey, if you're watching this video, you did a good job, man. And Tom Taylor as Jake Chambers was a great, was great too. Everything about Tom Taylor made me like him. I liked his acting, and I wanted the kid to play in more movies. As for Idris Elba, Idris Elba's always incredible, man. He's one of my favorite actors, and I don't care if he plays James Bond, honestly. I think he would do a fantastic James Bond. I think he would be great as James Bond. And also, he was fantastic as the gunslinger. I really liked him as the gunslinger. So overall, I really did enjoy The Dark Tower. It's probably one of my favorite Stephen King movies. I'm going to go and I'm going to give it an A+. So guys, have you seen The Dark Tower yet? If you haven't seen The Dark Tower, let me know what you think of it. And as always, if you want me to review more videos, I have a set that I'm going to do. Whenever I do action movies, I'm going to be over here. Then I have a new set for when I do horror films. My horror films are over there. So I think that's what I'm going to do from now on whenever I'm doing a horror movie or a action movie. Action movies are going to be right here and horror movies are going to be right here. It was kind of weird for me to do what the Dark Tower was. But the Dark Tower was more of an action. So I was say that's why I did it in here in this layer of, um, not in this layer, <laughs> layer in this um, set. Right here is because Dark Tower is action. And guys... Dark Tower is a great movie. I really recommend you guys go see it. Matthew McConaughey did a fantastic job. I really like the direction of Nikolai Arcel. And I am definitely going to buy this on Blu-ray. Matthew McConaughey, Idris Elba, you guys did fantastic. And Tom Taylor, I'm so glad he played in it. Catherine Winnick was also in this movie too as Jake's mom. And she did fantastic. Even though she was only there for like 15 minutes, she did awesome. So guys, please let me know your thoughts on the Dark Tower if you have seen it. If you have not seen it, Please comment below and let me know what your favorite Stephen King movie is. I will have more reviews of Stephen King movies coming up since IT is coming out September 8th and I'm pretty excited for IT. So guys, have a great day and Stephen King, you made another great movie. Thanks man. Bye.